Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is the last trading day of the month, October 30th. Got a bunch of fun stuff coming up. Tomorrow's Halloween and next week is the election. I'm not sure which is scarier. Um, anyway, let's jump in and recap. So today in on Friday the 30th, we had a total profit on the Mighty 90 strategy of 197. Went three for five, three winners, two losers. Nice winner in Apple out of the gate. Uh, small loser in Tesla, nice winner and beyond. My biggest loser today, NVIDIA. Uh, I didn't trade that bad. It just didn't ever bounce for us. So uh, I think I traded pretty well today. Uh, the only the only kind of thing that I would wished I could have done more was let my runners run a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I had a hard stop at a little afternoon, so I had to bail a little bit before. We would, would have caught a little bit more, but uh, total profit for the day, $127, so just a small green day. 197 like I said, on the mighty 90s. Uh, no pairs trades today. And then on the runners, just minus 70. So uh, that was actually a mistake trade, which I ended up with a $30 profit in Roku. Uh, Piton, minus 415, that was my biggest loser. Uh, win, minus 176. I did get some of my NVIDIA back um, with a, a positive 459 on that runner, minus 270 on Microsoft, 242 on DraftKing, and 60 bucks on Boeing. So uh, to end the week, a uh, small green day. Uh, total for the week, let's go to the summary here. Uh, so minus 98. So let me go back to the uh, the weekly here. So on the on the mighty 90. Started out the week in the hole on the mighty 90s, down a thousand bucks, and that that really doesn't have anything to do with the strategy. That was all me. I'm taking responsibility for that loss right there, which I always do, but especially in this case, I was going back through my stats, and one of the cool things about keeping records like this is you get to start to see trends. And one thing I've noticed is that on the mighty 90 strategy specifically, my Mondays are not very good. Um, and, and I attribute that again to just kind of starting the week, not getting warmed up and, uh, and then, you know, the rest of the week doing really well, just like we did this week where, you know, Tuesday was a winner, Wednesday was a winner, Thursday was a winner, Friday was a winner. Unfortunately, uh, after Monday just, uh, eked out the week with a small loss on the pairs trades, uh, plus 98.50, just two, tra uh, two trades there. Uh, anytime we got a lot of movement going, I, you know, I don't focus too much on pairs trades because there's so much to do on the other strategies. And then the runner strategy continues to perform extremely well, uh, plus 14.49 for the week. Had a nice Monday on the runners, uh, small winner on Tuesday, winner on Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, small losing day on the runner strategy. So overall for the week, plus $1,049.50. Fifty cents. So continue to stay positive, bounce back after last week's red week, and uh, continue to do well. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll also be posting a kind of a recap of our month of October for both our core portfolio as well as all of our day trades. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll shoot that out and post it on the blog when that's ready. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Next week is election week. For day trading, we're going to be normal time in the live room, 8.30 a.m. Uh, at the market open, 8.30 a.m. Central. And then on Wednesday, so the day after the election and possibly on Thursday too, we're going to be streaming longer. So we're going to start streaming at the open, probably go longer. Hopefully there's some action to take advantage of. Uh, look forward to having you join us and we'll see you then. Take care.